Um, our next speaker is um, Hanna Westerlund from Bestic AB. Bestic uh, is commercializing uh, eating assistive device for people who, who need um, such uh, um, aid. Um, okay, hello. Uh, my name is Hannah Westerlund, and I'm here representing a Swedish company called Bestick AB. And I'm here to present to you with an innovation for independence, which is um, this. Uh, it's an eating assistive device for people who are unable to eat by themselves. It's a small robotic solution combining uh, mechatronics and user-centered uh, design and software. And the man to your right is Stian Hemmingsson. He is the founder of our company. He had polio when he was very young. And about 15 years ago, he received post-polio symptoms, which made him unable to use his arms the way he wanted to. And he did not want his wife to feed him he wanted to eat by himself. So he started a venture of developing a new, pro uh, a new product. Um, and today, uh, Bestick is a C-marked medical device, class one. It's a device that you control by yourself through various different control devices. The easiest one being just one button um, that you can press with any part of your body, for example, your head or your chin or your foot. So it all depends on the user's capabilities and functions. Um, there are various reasons to why people are being fed. Um, according to an EU project called Silver, supporting independent living for the elderly through robotics, approximately 0.2% um, of a population uh, is being fed today, which in the EU corresponds to approximately 15 million people. And this is, a vi I mean, it has a wide a range of uh, backgrounds, for example, people with neurological diseases such as ALS, uh, also spinal cord injuries, or also if you're um, due to um, your age, um, has been unable to use your arms the way you want, the way you want to. You may be able to use your arms, but you don't have the strength enough to take the food up to your mouth and to eat by yourself. Um, if you're not able to eat by yourself, um, you may not find it as uh, pleasing to eat. If you can't yourself uh, decide the pace you're eating in and you're being fed, uh, this may lead to malnutrition. Uh, and of course, not uh, all um, problems with malnutrition can be reduced with an eating assisted device, but at least parts of it could be ameliorated. Um, there are several advantages for the people using the device, but also for staff at, for example, nursing homes. We have people coming up to us say, saying that they are feeding two people at the same time at a nursing home, which is not a pleasant situation for anyone. Uh, if you break it down to costs for what the actual device costs and what it costs to have someone feeding you. Uh, it's a huge difference, as you can see. Um, and also, it doesn't matter if you have an eating device if you, and you eat for 15 minutes or you, you eat for 60 minutes. It's up to you and it doesn't cost anything more. This is just our basic uh, business model. We have the product uh, and we also we produce it in Sweden as well, as well as develop it. Um, and when it comes to welfare technology, you usually need support when you purchase a device like this. So we also offer consultation and training for staff, etc. 
The company was founded uh, 11 years ago and the product has been on the market for approximately three years and as of today we've sold 250 units. We have distributors in several European countries but not here in Germany yet um, and we're selling directly uh, through our company in Sweden and as well as in the US. Um, so this is our Uh, organization. We're based in Stockholm and our production uh, takes place um, in another town close to Stockholm. And we also have a large network of uh, universities and collaborations um, with uh, other interest groups. Uh, I'm running out of time. Um, so I'm just here to um, find uh, distributors, as I said, but also investors for commercializing the product and for scaling up and for investors who want to join us in developing our next generation uh, for the next product. Okay, thank you and please stop by if you want to have uh, um, a demonstration of the device. I'm just out here, thank you. <laughs>